And a very good afternoon to you, Year 4 Viola. This is Miss Ang here, and I'd love to see how you're travelling this week. Last week, we had a chance to look through some of our earlier songs, which we've been doing over the first term. And now we're starting to look forward towards what we're doing for term two. What I recall we did was apart from going through a number of songs, and I still haven't heard anybody needing to, to follow uh, with any other so songs. Um, I think we went through, what was it? Happy Go Lucky, we did a bit of that. Yes, Happy Go Lucky, The Mockingbird, Algae Met a Bear. But then we also started last week with a bit of listen to the rhythm. Okay, this one here. All right, and we did the second line. Oh, it's tricky here. We did that. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to continue on with listen to the rhythm. But what we're going to have a look at too is um, first thing, there are some bar changes. Okay. It's tricky to see here, but I'm going to tell you what you need with a pencil to change these numbers on the side because otherwise it's going to get very confusing. Bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four, bar five. This is bar six. Can you see what I did here? I cancelled the, the ten, just scribbled that out and put with my pencil bar six. So bar seven, bar eight, bar nine, bar... 10 and then we've got bar 11 see that 11 12 13 14 15 bar 16 17 18 19 20 now this is bar 21 21 22 23 24 25 the last bar is that's right bar 26 27, 28, 29, 30. So this song actually has 30 bars. Now you may be wondering, why do I have to change the bar numbers here? Well, sometimes we may be wonderful musicians, but sometimes we just can't add up. And in this particular case, and in some of the songs in here, we may have to adjust the bar numbers. So please be patient. Um, it's worth it though. All right. So what we're going to do is it's, it's bowing and we want to be making sure that we have warmed well and truly up with our third and fourth fingers. Remember, this is the first section above Algae Meta Bear, page 22. Guys, I need you to warm up on your third and fourth fingers before we move on. Please pause the recording until you have done that. Thank you very much for doing that. Remember, I'm just going to go through what we did with Listen to the Rhythm last week. I did break it down for you in terms of what we did with the first uh, 10 bars. Now, if you can't remember that, go back to last week's video towards the end and have a listen to Listen to the Rhythm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be playing the first Actually, this time I'm going to do some bowings for you. Remember, we have down bows, which are written like so. Okay, like this. And we also have up bows. Okay, so when we go down, up, down, up, da, 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 we will have a down bow for that long semi-brief. Third finger on the G string. And then it says crotchet sound like this. Now, can you see that I've noted the up bow there? I would like you also to note the up bow there. Okay, because we will finish with an up bow and then when we do the crotchets on their own, it should start on a down bow, like that. Down, up, down, up, crotchet sound like that. So, have a closer look at this. Pause the recording to get those pencil markings for the first 10 bars. Got it? Okay, once you've done that, we're just going to be playing the first 10 bars. I'll do this right now with the music backing as a refresher. And if you like, and you can play it, you are welcome to join me. If not, stop the recording and play it at your own pace. So listen to the rhythm. First 10 bars and we'll stop.
Right, so that's all we've done with listen to the rhythm already from last week. Now we're up to bars 11 and we're going to bars 20. Okay, so we're going to do the next 10 bars together today. Now, what's, what's the common fingering compared to the first bar in bar 11? Anyone tell me? That's right. It's third finger. So bar 11, it says the third line, listen to the rhythm on my viola. Minims sound like this. Okay, now the great news is the finger sh patterns are the same as in the first bar, or the first part. We're just going on to the D string. Now to make things even simpler, I'm going to do something else. With our pencil, we're going to mark this first 10 bars as section A, okay? And then when we go into this section here, bar 11, through to the end of bar 20, this section is called section B. See that? Section B. So put those in pencil and then you can see it a lot clearer. So today we are doing section B. Right. Three fingers. Remember, always go back to your um, your string page, your warm up page twenty two. If you need to refer to what fingers they are, you are welcome to mark the finger numbers on top of the notes, not the letter names. All right, fingerings are fine. So if you need to write third finger, just write three on top of that, because I need you to still remember what the string is, um, and and that way you'll you'll be more confident. So this is bar eleven. G, G, F sharp, e, 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 F sharp, G. We stay there, and then it goes minims D D E F sharp, G. Okay. Pause the recording until you feel comfortable with that section. Now we'll continue on with the minims. Now, this the minimum section is bar 17. See here? The minimums, the ones where they don't have any, any words. So we get, we just we just play them. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's go back to bar 11 through to bar 20. If you need to stop the recording for each, for each section, that's fine. Just re reverse back, keep on going back and forward until you feel comfortable with section B. I'm gonna play it again for you without the backing and I'm counting in one bar. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to just mark the bowings for you and you will also mark the bowings on your book too. So it started off already printed down bow there so that's fine. Okay similarly to the section A this will be an up bow. So can you see this? I know it's not the clearest. Minimum sound like and then this. So that will have an up bow sign as well. So after an up bow, it's followed by a down bow. Down, up, down, up. D, D, E, F sharp, G. So this is a down bow as well. And because during the end of each section, we're doing a down bow followed by a down bow, what do we need to do? That's right, we have to lift the bow. So I'm going to do a little comma, which indicates I'm lifting the bow. All right. How about this team viola? 
we're going to play parts A and parts B right now. If you feel comfortable with that, I'd like you to join me with the, the backing track. If it feels a little bit fast at the moment, that's okay. You just use your own counting, either counting in your head, one, two, three, four, or remember what we spoke about, the metronome. Three, four. That's a bit fast. That's probably faster than the actual backing. It's very soft. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Cool. Yeah, okay, so we can we can use whatever there. Whatever helps you keep the right beat for you. That's the most important thing. Not what the CD is playing, what the backing track is playing, but what you can do right now. But for your entertainment, because you have gone so far, I'm going to play parts A and parts B of Listen to the Rhythm. Just for you, Team Viola. So, remembering, we count, it says count four bars. So there's four bar introduction in the lovely backing. Get your fingers ready. Three fingers on the G string, note C. know the whole song. The semi briefs sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? They're long notes which are worth four counts. semi briefs So remember that. So, if you've got to this point and you're wanting to know how to play the next bit, go ahead. It's just the same as part A, the first ten bars, but when you play the semi briefs you need to play them as whole notes. For the count of four counts. Can you do that? One, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Just do that with me. One, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Those notes are for bars 27 and 28. So guys, I'm leaving it to you guys now. We've done parts A and B today. And if you want a little bit more, Go ahead. Go ahead and do the last section, which is just like part A. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write part A here. Okay. As a reminder that it is just like the beginning. So you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, I haven't heard anybody talk about how they're finding the videos and how things are going there. Team? Who's going to be the first person who's going to write a comment for me? I'd love to hear from you. And maybe what we can do too is I'm going to put a little section where you can upload some of your video performances because some of you might have, um, might be very good at using video and maybe you can get mum or dad or a carer to help you with doing a video and you can upload it on your Caleb page just to your, to our Viola page. All right. You can share what you've been doing with, with, our team and you will continue to inspire each other. Have a lovely week and I'll see you at our next lesson. Bye for now.